One. So good to see you. all my friends are here. Come play with me. Watch out for Rabbit's here. Everyone who's anyone is welcome here. So come on, let's have some fun. Sing along with me. Start your day with a dose of Raytana. I just realized this thing says intelligent LCD on it. No smart ass remark? Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Raytana Station doing a video on hair. Ooh, hair. Um, Zaya wanted to know how to tease hair proper law. And not like those bitches on Jersey Shore do it. Because Jersey sucks. Sorry, Thomas. <laughs> um, so, yeah. We're gonna do that with my sexy doll head with the writing on her face. Um, she's actually one of the prettier doll heads that we had, but she looks kind of like a vampire. So, what you should use is actually one of these things. They are specifically for teasing, ratting, whatever you want to do. And hairspray. Not too strong but not too weak and don't use too much hairspray because then it like won't stay and I'll also tell you how to get out the teasing properly because not a lot of people know how to do that so let's see I didn't really think this through so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing right now I guess I could use some clips Anyway. Oh wait! Ooh, I can use these. So I don't have to move. So yeah, I'm just kind of half-assing it at this point. Let's do. Can you see okay? Yeah. And I would not recommend doing this on synthetic hair. I've never tried it before, and I don't want to try. That just sounds like a really bad idea. My doll head is human hair, so... We can be as rough as we want with it. And it won't ruin it! Okay, so... We can do this. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. I'm gonna go this way a little bit. So, some people do it all weird like and just like ah! on it, but that's not what you're supposed to do. You're actually supposed to have a motion. You go in and scoop down. Go in, scoop down. Go in, scoop down. And it's easiest if you have. This is where the hairspray comes in. And just hold the tip of the hair pretty loosely. See, if you do that movement, then it'll be easier, easy to get out. It's not supposed to look nice underneath, that's the whole point of teasing. I think it would be easier if I was actually using my actual clips, but whatever. So, I'm not really planning on what kind of sections I'm taking, I'm just kind of going. And depending on how big you want it, it's going to look like a mess. It's going to look like, like you are never ever going to be able to get this stuff out. 
Another thing is never, ever, 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 ever try to wash the rats out. That is bad. Don't do it. You'll just have huge, huge, icky stuff. So. I didn't use a whole lot of hair, but some of the hair and put it over and stuff. That's a little weird. Okay, that knot's pretty gnarly. That's okay. Because you can always brush it out. She looks weird. I'm sorry, I was never a fan of big bumblebee type hair. Jersey girl hair is awkward. Unless you're doing something, you know, runway like where it's supposed to look weird. Like I made a spider once, a spider hairstyle. It was pretty cool. Depending on how big you actually want to make the bump, then you just take more hair underneath and do more. Of course, I think I probably didn't have enough hair to cover the knots, but I mean, you get the point. even go back under here and do more. It's too thick. Don't try to use thick sections. And try to keep your sections neater than what I'm doing. Obviously I'm not really doing anything. In fact, I think I probably should have started with the front and working on the back. Yeah, it's been like a year since I've actually styled hair, so I'm a little rusty. In fact, this doll head, it's spent like a year in braids, so I had to blow dry her hair so she didn't look like she totally had like sex hair going on. Totally a starter for the font. But you get the idea. And for like the finishing, you could use a tougher hairspray just to keep it there.
when you spray the hair, try not to touch it. Because it'll fall. You gotta wait until the hair's very dry because you really touch it. Of course, if you're working on an actual person, like, and being paid for it, you're not gonna work this messily, you're gonna actually use sections and probably not gonna be this rough on their head either. So I'm probably not setting a very good example for aspiring stylists. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. You can touch it if you're very You can make it as big as you want, it just depends on how much hair you're actually grabbing. And now let's take it out. So that's this is why you need to use very light hairspray. Because if you use not so light hairspray, then it'll be a nightmare to get out. So basically, you kind of just gotta gently work your way up from the bottommost point of the knot to the ends. You don't try bottom up because it's just gonna, for one, hurt the person's head and probably make the knot worse. You don't really don't need heavy hairspray to make the knots either. So, there, that knot is out. That was easy. And if you don't have a teasing comb, you can also use just like a regular hair comb. It's a little bit harder, but it's possible. Um, but I recommend going to a beauty supply store and getting a teasing comb. Because teasing combs rock!
I didn't do it. You haven't said a single word. Miguel. I, I'm aware of this. <laughs> You're trying to teach people. I know, but I expected some comedy from you. This is no laughing matter. I'm sure you could make it some kind of laughing matter. No. Dogs with bones are laughing matters. <laughs> Rabbits. And the cats who want to call the dogs. Yes, and rabbits overly excited about carrots or a laughing matter. This is not. Is this is this super cereal? This is super cereal. I like cereal. This mm -hmm. is cinnamon toast crunch. Cereal. My voice hurts. Maybe you should stop taking so much dick. <laughs> well, somebody around here's got to do it. <laughs> Vegeta, you are hurting my throat. Wait a minute. <laughs> there, are half of it's already out. See how easy this is? Now the bleach part of the hair is a little bit more tricky just because bleach hair is a little damaged. And doll head's hair cannot grow back, so obviously it can't get any better. Of course, her hair was what we call virgin hair before I bleached it, so it's not as bad. I could probably go over it a couple more times before it really starts to get bad, before it starts to get spaghetti hair, spongy hair, however you want to describe the disgusting state that your hair gets in when you bleach it too much. To the point where when it's wet, it stretches and you just break it off, and when it's dry, it just falls off like like, I don't know, I can't think of a metaphor <laughs> or a simile. Yeah, like. Uh, <laughs> no, because like and as are similes, and metaphor is just. So, like, her eyes were as blue as the ocean, or her eyes were like the ocean. It's a simile. Metaphor is like. <laughs> I know where I'm going with this. I'm not here to teach grammar. <laughs> Alrighty. And then, we're gonna brush through it. Like so. And it's like it wasn't even there. Spooky. Alrighty. So that's teasing the hair. Now I'm gonna do a video where it's going to be a lot shorter where I'm flat ironing color into hair. So stay tuned. Yay!